Man's Sky is vast, gorgeous, and has many solar systems. Let's explore five planets in one of them. Luiel is barren, short on life forms, but rich in minerals. Sometimes you'll find six-legged things, but for the most part, you should bring tools to dig or carve into the towering rock formations for tech and fuel upgrades. Yaviel is temperate and lush, an ocean planet with bright red trees and clear blue water flush with life. It's one of the prettiest No Man's Sky planets we've seen so far. Many aliens are attracted to this place, so don't expect to be alone. Isolois is near the solar system's sun, so its surface is quite toasty. Some stubborn life forms have learned to survive here, but you won't unless you've crafted enough tech upgrades to be out in the sun, or just find cool shelter. Bring your titanium raincoat to Fleck, where toxic rain renders the planet the really unhealthy kind of green. Strange spore-like objects and mushrooms pop out of the surface. If you'd expect a toxic rain-coated planet to have mutant-looking wildlife, well, you'd be right. Hi there, little guy. Along with these very weird blob animals, you can find caves, buildings, and other shelter that will be your friend if you want to stay out of the toxic rain. We don't recommend taking a swim here. Bellari 5 is furthest from the system's sun and is thus a bit chilly. You'll need thermal protection lest you get frostbite and die. The extreme cold makes exploration tricky, as do the Sentinels. However, a popular trading post means you'll see lots of ships coming and going to buy, sell, and trade. Trading for, say, a thermic layer, thus keeping you alive, might be a good idea. For much more on No Man's Sky, lay in a course for IGN. Thank <laughs> you.